हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार नमस्ते वेलकम टू वीक फोर्टी सेवन सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस वीक चले माय आईज आर ऑलवेज गोइंग टू द वेदर बिकॉज रिसेंटली लाइक टू थ्री वीक्स बैक द टेम्परेचर वेरिड बिटवीन थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी डिग्रीज फॉर टू थ्री डेज normally they call it the heat wave because if it continues for like that for continuously 3 or 4 days i don't know exactly and this is because of the global warming so as i am from india i don't feel it that much but still once you are used to this temperate climate less than it never gets above 30 that is very rare during summer uh, so getting above 35 here when you are used to this uh, between 10 or 20 degrees the temperate climate then it feels a bit but as you are from india again so so the main point that i want to make is the temperature here changes very frequently drastically and uh, it's during the summer obviously but the weather fluctuates very fast so even during temperate climate sometimes there will be sudden wind or maybe rain so you need to be careful of that before you come to decide to netherlands uh, i mean you need to take certain precautions have certain jackets and this kind of stuff and so this week again i had to restart my experiment by restart i mean i'm not starting it from ground zero but i forgot to mention you that my demo that i submitted for a actel conference in which i made a video last year and this year i submitted only a demo because i didn't have enough work to submit for a full paper it got accepted when i was in the cscl conference in lyon in france and i will be going there so there will be a vlog maybe in september but this year it is scheduled to be in september i think in delft so it is inside netherlands so i'm not traveling anywhere but obviously you will get to see some more of delft and i think it's in september 16 to 20 or something like that so i don't know if any one of you are watching this and you will be in delft by that time maybe we can also arrange a small meet up but apart from that people who are following this weekly phd vlogs so i'm almost approaching the end of my second year i started this with some lot of dreams but i could continue this weekly format and apart from that i have made a lot of videos on studying and living in netherlands and if you like this video then don't forget to smash the thumbs up button share among your friends subscribe to the channel and to keep getting all this contents you also follow me on instagram and twitter with the same username sambit phd across all this and i'm also writing small small blogs for these blogs that i'm making for some of them which are really necessary in a text format so it is in my official academic website that is also tagged here you can also check it in the about section of my web page and the thing that i wanted to mention is that i will continue with my experiments because uh the demo that i submitted had certain level of work and i need to improve it so that the demo paper will have whatever i've written before but what i will show in real in the demo will vary uh, so that's why i need to work on that and apart from that again this week uh, they did not say it is a rejection but the major revision was very fast so one of the reviewer was happy and the second reviewer did not uh, kind of agree uh, he had further comments normally in some journals it takes like three or two or even four rounds of review and if they don't reject it in the first then there is a chance but still there is a chance of rejection so that is what happened they asked me to resubmit it again and i could not submit it to the same special issue i need to resubmit it from scratch again select the reviewers and the tags and everything else what i did from the beginning so that's why what we decided among our team like the supervisors and professors that this work is really really mature enough to be accepted to a conference is of already a very good quality so we decided to submit it to a different outlet called ieee tlt ieee transactions in learning technologies and we hope uh, to have a positive news soon because the article has gone through a lot of mishappenings i don't know how to frame it it has already received like uh, 
I don't know like three four rejections so let's hope for the best and if you want to get motivation how can you motivate your inner self when you have this kind of circumstances I'm quite used to it now uh, in the beginning of your PhD you might have this feeling then check this academic rejection video I think it will be really inspiring and will motivate you to uh, bring out your fear like to break the shackles and I hope you keep sharing this among everyone. Till next time with a fresh new experience. Peace.